Hey, everybody. Welcome to Matt Chat Live. Woo-hoo-hoo. It's Matt Chat Live. Ooh. Be right there. I'm coming your way. Right here. I'm actually here. I'm just leaving it on the screen for a second while I'm talking to you. And I'm not on camera. But I'm here. And I'm not here. But I'm here. <laughs> hey, y'all. It is Matt Crump. And I am super, super glad to be with you today. I'm super glad to be anywhere today. And uh, welcome to a little brief Matt Chat Live. We got some neat stuff coming up here for Matt Chat Live in the future. And I'm super excited to, uh, to do a few shows uh, uh, that are forthcoming. Uh, but today, I wanted to do a, uh, a brief live with you to update you on my current battle with cancer and my visit to, uh, to Duke today for some choices and decisions that we've had to make. So um, today, uh, I went because we have been trying um, a steroid that uh, was an attempt to reduce a, a mass that has been growing in my brain uh, where I had had brain surgery prior and radiation and treatments and things of that nature, and uh, then uh, started to have some radiation damage, inflammation, and scar tissue form, which then hinders the ability to see cancer cells uh, when I do the PET scans. That's where they have radioactive dye goes in you. It lights up if there's a live cancer cell there most of the times. Um, but the type of mass that's growing in my brain was uh, hindering the ability to see if there was any activity for cancer. Uh, whether it's a tumor or, uh, or a uh, mass of some sort that uh, was unclear uh, by the scans because it doesn't tell you that. Uh, the only way, to know, only way to know is by actual uh, live tissue. They have to take the sample, piece your brain out, and check it out, see if it's got cancer, right? All right, so um, today's appointment was to check to see what the, what's been happening with my brain over the past few weeks. Um, sorry, I'll mute that, y'all. That's a loud, I'm sorry. Um, over the past few weeks, and uh, the results today showed nothing. Um, it did not change. Um, it didn't get bigger, so I guess that's a, something. Um, but it didn't change, it didn't get any smaller. So because of that, uh, we've made a decision that I will be going back to Duke in two weeks, April 23rd, and I will have brain surgery again. Um, so, this time, um, is a lot different than it was the last time around. The first time I had brain surgery, I ended up having a, uh, I was having seizures, bleeding brain tumor, and had to have emergency surgery where I almost died. Um, this time, um, it's not as desperate of a scenario, but it is, uh, something needs to be fixed. Um, and I was at high risk because of the type of, uh, brain tumor I had prior the surgery, uh, to do surgery again in the same area is is risky. I could lose functions of my body. And, um, you yeah, that's just not something that everybody was happy with, me included. So um, today we made the decision that I will do this procedure. And it's kind of a newer procedure. And uh, one of the docs that's spearheading that up in the, in the country and world happens to be my doctor. And I'm very grateful to have God provide me some of the best staff in the world. So with this procedure, um, again, that's not necessarily because it's cancer. Um, it's because it is radiation damage and scar tissue, and it is a mass that continues to grow um, as a result of that. So it's not like you can give, uh, well, bottom line, there's nothing you can do much about it um, except th what they're getting ready to do. So um, instead of open brain surgery this time where they you know, take out part of my skull like they did the last time and then go right in and scoop out the stuff and do all the things, right? They will drill through my head this time. They'll get the tissue they're looking for and uh, to be able to test it to make sure that it was cancer-free or if it has cancer, one of the two. And then they'll use a new procedure with a, with a laser and they will actually kind of go around that mass area and, and laser erase. They will they will fry that stuff up and burn out uh, what is there now that um, that's hindering everything. And um, the bonus of that, obviously, is also that if there are any cancer cells in there, um, they won't survive. They won't survive that mess that they're going through. Um, there's always an element of risk, but, um, you know, I've got the best care in the world. So I am not on the side of being uh, reactive or be proactive. And um, the last thing I want is another bleeding brain tumor and finding out that I'm too late and almost die. 
So we're definitely going to, uh, to do the procedure. So that's in two weeks from now. I will be uh, undergoing brain surgery again. Um, and also, one of the things that I like about that is that the recovery time from this procedure is way less than the last time. My last brain surgery, it took me two to three months to recover from. So um, that being the case, I was concerned. You know, there's a lot that I'm doing right now, and um, I've got things to to take care of and to be laid up for a few more months on top of what's happened with Corona and all that stuff. That just wasn't acceptable to me. So to know that I could jump on this procedure and have it done in a couple of weeks and possibly be like back to business with you know good health and stuff in my brain and that stuff gone from, from growing in my brain uh, within a week or two from that, um, I was like, yeah, you can't get me in there fast enough, you know, because it's definitely, I hate the scenario. So anyway, just wanted to update you what's going on with that. So I will be having brain surgery again in uh, in two weeks. So I'm working really hard and diligently right now to uh, to do some of the work that I've been working on, of course, with my uh, my content and my coaching. And I've got a few things that I was getting ready to launch. And uh, I still am going to do that. And there's a few folks have been reaching out to me for, for coaching specifically. And um, I am not taking my, my foot off the pedal. So uh, if you're still interested in doing that, we can. And all I will say is that there will be a period of time that I'll be in recovery from this surgery. So, you know, could be a short period of time, could be a little bit longer. And I, we don't know until it happens because it's, you know, it's my body and we won't know until my body responds the way it's going to respond. Um, but I'm expecting that things will be just fine and I'll get through it pretty quickly. As quick as we can anyway. And uh, then I'll be ready to, uh, to do what I'm excited about doing around the world uh, even more. So um, it'd be nice to have have a load off your mind. <laughs> like literally, they're going to zap it off. That's going to be fantastic. I've been fighting against this for a while. So uh, my cancer battle, y'all, has been a long time. I've been fighting it for nine years. 2011 is when I first got cancer. Stage two went stage four, 2015. And um, here I am going back in for brain surgery in two weeks. It's just been quite, quite interesting, which as you can imagine is why I do a lot of what I do. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about helping you to overcome obstacles in your life, really achieving your number one goal so you can have an abundant life is I know what it feels like to, to achieve that. I know what it feels like to, to really want to get to those places. Um, I know what it feels like when you don't have the support and you're, you're looking for it, right? So that's why I've written some of the things I have, the curriculum I write, the coaching program I've written. I mean, all these things are, are because I really want you to have that value, that breakthrough that I've experienced in my life. And um, the only way you're going to get it is by us hanging out together and talking about it, right? That's what a coaching relationship is all about. So anyway, my dog's like going crazy. She's got the hots for this other dog down the road here, and uh, she's hearing the dog and going crazy. Aren't you going crazy about that little doggy? Huh? All right, so she's going crazy. Anyway, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that's been, uh, been reached out to me, been praying for me, um, folks that have been sending me some great, great comments and messages here lately. Um, it helps out a lot because I'm not going to say that there's days that I don't feel like I'm, uh, I'm down in the dumps because I do have days like that. And um, yeah, it feels good when some folks send you some kudos once in a while. And I appreciate that about you. And I've got a few of those here lately, and I appreciate that. It was uh, Today, I got a few good things that came through today, which was really good timing. So uh, thank you for your prayers. Pray for my family, my wife. I care about her um, the most in this scenario. I care about my kids, obviously, but my wife has to carry a heavy, heavy load a lot. And uh, to find out your husband's going in for brain surgery in two weeks. And, you know, the kids are at home, and she's an executive at a hospital, and coronavirus, and... You know, it's a lot. Um, and we're all all going through a lot right now, aren't we? We are. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I love to do what I do. I want to help you as much as I possibly can. And I will do whatever it takes um, to the point of getting freaking brain surgery in two weeks so I can still be around here a little bit longer and keep on doing what I'm doing because I, I want to help you. So if I can, please reach out. Uh, I'm here for you, all right, the best I can. So that's what I wanted to update you on today. That's my, my brain mass cancer update for April 2020. Two more weeks and uh, Crumpster goes under the knife again and brain surgery it is. Um, but it could be a great thing. Uh, it could be that I'm done with the worry about my brain and, and this mass thing that's just been growing and uh, be done with it. That'd be fantastic. I love when something ends and something 
new begins, don't you? All right. So thank you so much, everybody, for, again, your prayers, your time. And uh, today is a special day uh, and a weekend. You hear that? She's horrible. That dog is ate up. I'm telling y'all, watch. Maggie. 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 What are you doing? <laughs> is that funny or what? She just ate up. She can't, she thinks about it all the time. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, that I'm here for you, okay? And if there's anything I can do, unless you're Maggie, I can't help that. Uh, I'd love to help you. Really would. And I'm super excited to be a part of what you're doing. And uh, there's some great, great things ahead for all of us. Great things ahead, right? So whatever, whenever there's bad, whenever there's evil, whenever there's ugly, expect good to be better. That's what makes good good, <laughs> right? We never know how good is unless there's bad. As bad just really lets you know how good is, right? So uh, my friends, good is coming for you. If it isn't already there, be excited that it's on its way. All right, my friends, there we go. So I will talk to you all soon. That was my update for the day. By the way, check out the song I posted uh, again, which was Sunshine Again, that no matter what we're facing, dark moments, right? That's why I wrote that song. There will always be sunshine again with some of the faces that you may recommend, or, <laughs> recommend some of the faces you may have remembered here on, uh, on LinkedIn. And uh, I had some fun with some of my friends that, that joined me in this video, which gave me the idea to do another one pretty soon, and I'll do uh, another tune with some more friends. It'll be fun. All right, thank you again so much, everybody. I did want to say that this was Easter weekend. That's what I meant to say. Today's Good Friday, uh, Easter weekend. Uh, what a great time for us as people who are followers of Christ, if you are. And this is um, one of the most important weekends. You got Christmas and Easter are so, so powerful to us uh, today, representing a day when Jesus made a choice to, to willingly uh, give his life uh, for his people. And uh, he didn't just do it like, you know, haphazardly. It was disgustingly, horrifically horrible. Uh, the worst you could ever imagine. And then he defeated everything. Death, hell, and the grave and came back, resurrected on Sunday. It's all about resurrection. And you, too, you can be resurrected too, my friends. You can be resurrected in your life, your business, your marriage, your home. Resurrection's available. We'll talk about it sometime. Happy Easter to everyone. Thank you for your time. And thank you for your prayers. I appreciate it. A couple more weeks. I'll be busy. If you need me, reach out. All right. God bless y'all. Thank you so much.